That last one. It was my host. That's what I'm blaming it on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, Dubin versus Ishii. The rematch from Thursday. Here we go. Dubin in blue on that Cobalt Manor side. And Ishii in red on the Bloodsport side. So, both players sporting an 80-something ping. Ishii choosing to play his lovely Makina. And Dubin playing the, uh, yeah, the wonderful, wonderful stamp. Ooh, and that's some juice right there. And that lob does does take away the uh, the juice there for Dubin. So both players still trying to get back up to that juice. Ishii now with the juice, but cannot get there. Should have double short slid, but I don't even know if McKenna could have gotten there on the double short slide. All right, so we're seeing a couple hard hops come out. Got a short hop there on Dubin. Perfect fill does not score for Ishii. But that juiced ricochet back and forth. Dubin's just like, no! Don't hit me! Alright, so another hard hop coming out of Dubin there. Both these players are still pretty fresh for the day, I'm pretty sure. So being able to read the wall rides right now, it's a little bit uh, off. And Dubin catching Ishii in that front corner with a quick trigger. Perfect quick trigger. Once again with a perfect quick trigger. And yeah, you're going to see these, these two players go back and forth with juice. I mean, Thursday, we were just seeing a juice drama. We're seeing like four or five times juice. And yeah, it was it was insane how much purple was on the screen on Thursday night. Beautiful ball right out of the middle from Dubin. Almost ties it up. It's basically tied up. One point doesn't matter in this jam unless it's, you know, 50 to 49. Ooh, had a little bit of a... Uh, Ping fluctuation there from Dubin, it looks like. It's weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There's that ping from Dubin shooting up. One of those issues that uh, Dubin has every once in a while. He'll get uh, some lag spikes. There it is again. Wow, it's, it's persistent right now. Alright, so he is back down to the 80. 80 frame right there. All right, so he does pick up that almost a hell point. 18 points. Here in Disc Jam, we do call a 20-point rally a hell point. I mean, a couple of hell points, and you can win a game. I mean, if you get up to hell and a half, you win two hell and a half. That's two discs, and that set is over. All right, so 44 to 29 right now is officially a point for Dubin if he scores this. Ishii still on the juice, gets the score, 42-44. With these two players, like I was saying when Ishii was playing me, this is essentially a jam point here. So right, as of right now, next disc scored wins this set. Can Ishii pull it off to take this to a set three of this first game? Nope. That quick curve from Dubin scores it 58-42. to Game one goes down two sets to none. So Dubin still kind of maintaining that momentum that he had on Thursday. Ishii's still trying to find a way to just kind of overcome that stand. Um, it's been one of those things that the players get. Yeah, looks like we're getting issues, maybe? No? But yeah, it's one of those things. A lot of the top players are starting to switch over to Stanton if they were playing McKenna. Just for the simple fact that there's what we call the, that Stanton slide, though. I mean, the, the thigh gap had its time in the spotlight. Oh, and that, there's that slide from, from McKenna. Get a slide just does not travel as far, does not travel as fast, and you're not going to see it make it to all of the spots that Stanton's slide can. So we're seeing a, a middle wall ride coming out there from Dubin, and he keeps trying to catch Ishii off guard with those, especially because his thing seems to still be fluctuating slightly, but with that juiced hard hop, Ishii ties it up 25-25. All right, so we crossed that 10-point mark. A beautiful pure filth coming out. Not perfect, though. It might have actually gotten Dubin if it was perfect. That, that block lobster feels bad. All right, so a wall ride coming out from Ishii. And Dubin just laying on those lobs, man. Making Ishii run back and forth. Beautiful block there, and Ishii miscalculates. Going to the wall, thinking it was a wall ride, I'm pretty sure. 
but it was a hard hop. Gets that final point there for uh, for Dubin in set one of game two. Error on Dubin's part. Catches him in the back. So that's gonna put up Ishii eight to nothing. Not a huge lead. But still early game. It can change a lot. Like right there, back to uh, basically nullify eight eight. Beautiful mid court wall right at Ishii. Catches Dubin off guard. It's 16 to 8. These guys are just liking them them eight point rallies, man. Oh, and that wall right coming out of Dubin. Ishii thinking it's gonna be a hard hop, going for that cross court, then realizing it's a wall ride. Just stood there in the middle. No point in going after it, he wasn't gonna get to it. Ooh, Dubin with the midcourt wall ride. Ishii saw it, did not get the slide. Out in time. Ooh, juiced wall ride out of Ishii from the hash mark. And that's going to make it 29 to 31. This game is pretty darn close, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like we're having more ping issues here from Dubin. That's a straight filth right there to the corner. To the post. It's the point side of the post. Oh, and Ishii sliding out of the way. Game two goes to Dubin again. 212 points to 109. Not exactly double the points, but close. Ishii with the midcourt wall ride. Dubin with a wide wall ride does not catch Ishii off guard, but that quick curve does. 11 to nothing, dude. And you'll see these players, they, they do a lot of wall rides. Ishii might have been a little far up. He was past that uh, that vertical midline. You, you really kind of want to slide back to the dot almost every time. And there is another hard hop. It's 29 to nothing. Right now, Dubin blanking out Ishii in set one of game three. Ishii's got to climb his way back, man. He's got to win three in a row. He games in a row before Dubin win one, and that tire lob, that hammer throw, puts it at point for Dubin here on this set. Can he get the jam? We'll see. Nice block out of Dubin. No perfect throw, however. And there's the hammer toss again. Set one is going to be a jam here in this game three. So Dubin thoroughly taking it to Ishii. There have been some pain issues, so it's not all, you know, Ishii playing bad. But uh, we're going to blame it on the ping and the fact that he's using McKenna because McKenna underpowered. Beautiful juiced wall ride coming out of Ishii to grab that almost hell point. 19 points on the board for Ishii. There. Beautiful slide out of Ishii. I don't know if he necessarily needed the slide, but he, he did it just to be safe, and you know what? I'm all for being safe. But uh, Dubin picking up that hard hop, getting the 13 points, pretty much even at this point. So nice filth coming out of there from Ishii. Didn't land it because it wasn't a perfect short hop out of Dubin. Mid-court wall ride from Ishii. Picks up the score, 31 to 13, Ishii. a lot more slides from Ishii than we're used to seeing. I don't know uh, if the ping really is getting to him and uh, kind of throwing his game off a bit, but right now we are seeing a lot more uh, sliding. Beautiful wall ride does not land the score. Oh, and a hard hop from Ishii puts it away. He's at 44. This is going to be point for Ishii. Does let the ace go by on the, uh, the skim right there from Dubin. So 44-31 for Ishii. And there's the stuff. Ishii somehow cannot pick it up. I thought he was there. We all thought he was there. But apparently he was not. And right now Ishii in kind of a hole here. He was up really big, ready to take this set. But right now, it's anybody's game. It is a, uh, a point right now. Whoever scores this next disc takes this set. Let's just hope it's Ishii. And it, oh. There it is. Three games to none. Six sets to none. Ishii goes down. GG's, guys. GG's. So, yeah, Vexus. Um, there is a Founders Pack for the game, which allows you to play private matches during the week during every other day besides Thursday. 
Um, that's why 